The topic is How to File 2020 Income Tax Returns The year of income 2021 is here with its various tax obligations, including filing of 2020 income tax returns. Every taxpayer has a legal obligation to file tax returns for each year of income. Income tax returns filing obligations are found in Section 24 and 25 of the Tax Procedures Act, 2015. Tax returns are the basis of tax assessments in each year of income. When are income tax returns due? Income tax returns are due by the end of the sixth month after the closure of the year of income. However, a taxpayer can opt to file the tax returns immediately after the year of income has ended. Which taxpayers should start filing tax returns? All taxpayers must file income tax returns from each year of income. However, all persons who accrued or derived taxable income from Kenya in 2020 must pay tax in Kenya in 2021. Therefore, for purposes of establishing the amount of tax payable, the persons must file tax returns. Hence, the persons whose year of income ended on 31st of December 2020 can commence filing their income tax returns any time before 30th of June 2021. The taxpayers are 1. All taxpayers who file tax returns as individuals. These are employees, person trading in own name, person trading as sole proprietor and partners. 2. All non-individual taxpayers who elected 31st December as the end of their year of income. 3. All non-individual taxpayers who have been directed by KRA to file the tax returns. What to do? Usually, an income tax return should cover 12, 12, months. The tax return summarizes all the taxpayer incomes derived or accrued from Kenya and how they use the income. The balance, with adjustments, is considered as taxable profits. To establish taxable profits, the taxpayer should do the following. A. Establish the amount of taxable income for the year. This is done by establishing. 1. All the income that was derived or accrued from Kenya from 1st January to 31st of December 2020. 2. All the deductible expenses that are utilized to generate the income from 1st January to 31st December 2020. The expenses to be deducted are only those allowed under the Income Tax Act Cap 470. 3. Utilizing the income tax losses carried forward from previous years of income. B. Establish the amount of tax payable for the year of income by subjecting the taxable income to the prevailing income tax rates. C. Establish the amount of tax due for the year of income by deducting the amount of tax paid from the amount of tax payable for the year of income. This amount already paid is in the form of 1. Advance tax 2. Installment tax 3. Tax credits carried forward from 2020 and beyond. 4. Withholding income tax paid on behalf of the taxpayer. 5. Other tax payments. D. File the tax returns for 2021 and ITAX. The filing of an income tax return will result in a self-assessment. ITAX generates the amount of tax the taxpayer should pay from the information the taxpayer will provide. It is important to note that income tax is paid on an installment basis by 1. Individual persons paying more than Kenya shillings 40,000 in tax per year. 2. All non-individual taxpayers. This means that ITAX will spread the income tax established as payable for the year of income across the four required installment payments within the year of income as follows. 1. First installment minus 25% of income tax due for the year. 2. Second installment minus 25% of income tax due for the year. 3. Third installment minus 25% of income tax due for the year. 4. Fourth installment minus 25% of income tax due for the year. Taxpayers in the agricultural sector are obligated to pay the third installment as a combination of first, second, and third installments and the fourth installment. If the taxpayer did not pay installment tax, the I tax will spread the money and generate penalties and interest. E. Generate the income tax payment slip and I tax and indicate the mode of payment. The payments can be A. 
direct transfer to KRA appointed banks. B. Direct deposit from the taxpayer's bank account to KRA appointed banks. C. Mobile money currently only in PESA. Note that as of this post date, a taxpayer can only pay Kenya shillings 70,000 at a time. In case the amount is more, the taxpayer can split the amount into payments less than Kenya shillings 70,000. D. Make the tax payment before the last day of the fourth month after the year of income. In this case, before 30th of April 2021 since the amount. Failure to make the payments will attract. 1. Late payment penalty. 2. Late payment interest. What is the income tax rate for 2020? The income tax rate for the 2020 year is 25%. Before April 2020, the tax rate was 30%. From April to December 2020, the government reduced the tax rate to 25%. Therefore, the 2020 year of income's applicable income tax rate is 25. Late tax returns. Section 25 of the Tax Procedures Act, 2015 allows the filing of tax returns late. For all tax returns filed monthly or annually, the taxpayer must inform the tax commissioner within the Act's specified dates. Failure to notify the tax commissioner will result in 1. Late payment penalty. 2. Late payment interest. Failure to file tax returns. All taxpayers should file tax returns when they are due. In case a taxpayer does not file a tax return, Section 29 of the Tax Procedures Act, 2015 empowers the tax commissioner to issue a default assessment. This default assessment means that the tax commissioner will file on behalf of the taxpayer a tax return, which is the basis of tax assessment. The tax commissioner will, more often than not, issue an additional assessment and a demand notice for the same. If the taxpayer fails to make the additional tax payment, KRA may take enforcement measures. Conclusion 1. All taxpayers whose year of income ended on 31st of December 2020 can commence filing income tax returns for the year of income 2020 even though the tax returns are due by 30th of June 2021. 2. All tax balances for the year of income 2020 should be paid by 30th of April 2021. 3. Failure to pay installment tax in 2020 will result in late payment penalties and late payment interest. 4. Failure to file a tax return will force the tax commissioner to file a tax rerun on behalf of the taxpayer and issue a default assessment. Value of this post. Was this post valuable? Tell us whether this post was useful, we love hearing from our readers. The topic was, how to file 2020 income tax returns. Brought to you by TaxKenya.com Remember to A. Like this video B. Subscribe to this channel Thank you